Hey there, folks, you're all here. I'm the sole author of Distal, a new high fantasy D20 system designed to honor the struggles that your characters face over a life of adventure. You can pick up the beta version of Distal, which includes a 190 page plus core rules, totally free. Or you can pre order the game to grab one of the Wicked Dope hardcovers that are coming out early 2025. Those links are all in the video description. Today, we're going to be talking about the Jester class in Distal. You might imagine a jester as a colorful, bouncing fool that performs tricks for the amusement of others, and you'd be totally right. Except that jesters are also often trained as assassins or bodyguards of royalty or other influential political figures. And if you want to play a springy combatant that befuddles enemies with tricks and movement, the jester might be right up your alley. At level one, your health bonus is a plus two, which is middle of the road. Casters tend to get a plus one, and more meaty classes get a plus three. This modifies your health die, which is determined by your lineage. You're a socialite, which mechanically just makes sure that you get access to politics and performance knowledge if you didn't already get it from your background. Prestige is a passive ability that increases your to hit based on the number of enemies in close proximity, up to a maximum of two, at least at this level. And springy allows you to move without provoking opportunity attacks, so long as you're airborne. So for example, if you're jumping or gliding past an enemy, they can't uh, take a swing at you. Between the last two abilities, level one jester kind of points toward a combat style that centers around controlling your range to the target. You want to be close to enemies, but you can still maneuver pretty actively. This means that weapons with a bit of reach will provide some additional benefit. At level two, an attribute goes up by one. You also grab a distinction, which is like a feat, and you engage in martial development, which lets you increase your weapon proficiency or learn a new one. The jester specific ability are their tricks. Basically, you get access to a bag of tricks that relies on ammunition to perform quirky and class specific abilities. Every time you use a trick, you roll the ammo die, and if you roll a 1 on it, that die degrades a step. It starts out as a d8, so it's pretty generous. This ammo die is an abstract representation for the ammo that you have left, and all of the ranged ammunition-based weapons in Distal make use of it. For specific tricks, you have access to Oil Tongue, which allows you to spit a line of flammable oil. Ribbon Work, which increases the range of melee weapons during this turn and then a glow stick, which is exactly what you think it is. Bunny hop, which increases how far you can jump and move this turn. Bounce, which allows you to mitigate some fall damage and also immediately doubles the height of your next jump taken. And wriggle, which helps you weasel your way out of binds and anything else that you need to escape. At level three, another attribute bump, another martial development, and you get to choose your first class signature. This happens at every third level, so 3, 6, 9, and 12, and it helps shape how you want the class to play. An improvising jester can use their reaction to increase their defense by their prestige for the turn. And undivided attention allows you to basically turn a plus one into a plus two. So if you're only engaged with a single enemy and the prestige is only affecting them, this allows it to act as if you had two enemies engaged with. So this signature allows you to be a little bit more defensive, and it also gives you a bump when dealing with solo targets. A juggling jester lets your thrown weapons return to you unless they miss. And while ribbon work is active, they always return. Additionally, you have a new use for ribbon work. You can use it to pick up a loose object that's nearby. So if you like throwing weapons, this might be a path that you're interested in. A slippery jester is a bit more about mobility. When you leave a space that has been covered in the oil through oil tongue, you can use a reaction to instantly ignite it. This means that that oil is burning and everybody inside gets lit on fire as well. If you didn't yet ignite the oil, if it's still slick, you can move through occupied spaces without provoking. Normally, you can't move through spaces occupied by enemies. So imagine this is like sliding underneath somebody's legs to get behind them. That's what this vision sort of evokes for me. At level four, you hit your first milestone level, which means that your health pool gets another bump. Your death marks go up as well. Probably talk about death marks in a later video. But you also get another distinction, which happens at every even level. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12. And you gain another martial development. Additionally, you acquire court intrigue, which allows you to add your politics or performance to any influence checks 
made to persuade politicians, and you get a whole list of new tricks as well. Quick Change lets you cast Visage, which is typically a tier 2 spell, but you can do this for almost free. Flame Breath breathes a cone of fire, which has some synergy with Oil Tongue, if you want to ignite it. Disorient lets you daze a nearby creature up to 15 feet. Glitter Bomb covers invisible and hidden creatures in glitter, which effectively reveals them. And Decoy creates an illusory decoy that can be commanded to flail wildly and direct incoming attacks away from your allies. At level 5, your attributes go up again, and you engage in martial development. Now, your prestige can reach out to 20 feet instead of 15 feet, making it a little bit easier to get the benefits from it. And additionally, you can now attack while airborne. So, like when you're jumping, or when you're falling, and you can climb a lot easier without special equipment. At level 6, another point in your attributes, a new distinction, and another chance to develop martially. Then you pick up your second class signature. You can choose Flying Jester, which allows you to momentarily fly while within range of an attack that you land with a ribbon-worked weapon. So essentially, any sort of roped weapon you can use as a kind of like a grappling hook, a little bit more graceful, probably. Whether you're trying to scale a giant like uh, Attack on Titan or swing across a chasm like Indiana Jones, that's basically what you're able to do. And since you can attack while airborne now, you're also able to chain this together for more distance if you're dual wielding uh, multiple weapons that can make use of ribbon work. Fire dancing jesters can deal additional fire damage if they themselves are on fire, and their flame breath can instead be a glob of fire that they can spit further. And playing with fire allows them to reduce fire damage by expending a willpower die. So this is kind of your damage increased spec, but for pyromaniacs. A puppeteering jester can give your decoy a little bit more power, allowing you to attack from its location instead of your own, and it gains more health and more defense so that you can treat it like a proper companion. You can also use bounce to help an ally that starts falling instead of just yourself. So overall, the jester class is all about choice and creativity. They're given all sorts of tools, options, to deal with different niche situations and you can play them almost any way that you want. They function best close to mid-range, which means that long-range weapons probably aren't going to capitalize that much on their benefits, but you can play them as DPS, you can play them as an up-close brawler, you can get out of those sticky situations that uh, might try to lock you down and be better for it. The art for the Jester is an elf, but there aren't any lineage restrictions on classes in this game, so if you wanted to play a half-giant Ulstadter Jester, I'm not really sure what that would look like, but maybe you have some ideas for me. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and uh, maybe also tell them about Distal, which you can get the beta, again, free, and pre-orders while they're available. And the links are in the video description for you. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.